to give him what he cannot give to himself so that he will do for us what we can't do for ourselves can we begin to fellowship in the spirit can we begin to have koinonia with the one who has given us life Beloved, don't be silent this morning. 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 Yalata. Kabara. Lava taba. Lava 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 tapata. Do you think it's by your prayers? So many Christians are lying down lifeless in the mortuary. But God kept us. Kana. Can somebody begin to acknowledge him? Mozakupe. He's the God that helps us. Even when we go into covenant with Him, He will keep His part and see help us keep our part. What a covenant keeping God! Somebody begins to lavish your love on Him.
mighty God. Sing it from the depth of your heart. Father, Lord Jesus, you reign. You reign. You reign. Shed and begin to appreciate God this morning. Open your mouth. This is our first meeting for 2021. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for this great opportunity to be in his presence this morning. This is our first meeting for 2021. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate this God. Begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Begin to appreciate him. There is none like him. He is awesome. He is wonderful. Open your mouth. Begin to appreciate this God. There is nothing else that you can give to him that to thank him. Thank him. Begin to appreciate him. Lord, you are awesome. There is none like you. We we'll give you all the praise. We we'll give you every honor. We we'll give you adoration. Lord, we return all the glory to you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for this great opportunity, for this great privilege, O oh Lord, to be in your presence. Lord, we say thank you. You are God all by yourself, O oh Lord. You don't need a man to be the God that you are. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Pray that this morning that the glory of God will flood this place that the glory of God will flood this auditorium like never before. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. Begin to give him praise. Begin to give him praise. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, ancient of days. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, King of glory. We return all the glory to you. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, just lift up your hands above your head and begin to tell him how grateful you are. Even if we have 10,000 tongues, it's still not enough to tell him how grateful we are. Lift up your hands and begin to call him names. Candles that take about Jehovah will give you all the glory. We we'll bless your name for you alone deserve our worship. You alone deserve our praise. Let your name be lifted high above every other name in the cause of time. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. That amen is too cold for our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. We can still do better. In Jesus' glorious name, we have worship. If you are happy to be in the year 2021, jam those hands together for Jesus. If those hands are for Jesus, it will be louder. Somebody shout a powerful hallelujah. Now I want us to jam on. Come on. One, two. Uh, come on. One, two. Come on. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. I do a salute Oh Lord that day I do a salute Oh Lord that day I do a salute Oh Lord that day Where are my praises? Come on Oh Lord that day I do a salute Oh Lord that day Oh Lord that day I do a salute For everything you do No, no, I do a salute Oh Lord that day I do a salute For everything you do Jehovah, he has done my life. 
around. Hey, somebody turn. Praise Jehovah, he has turned my life around. Somebody turn, 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 turn. Praise Jehovah, he has turned my life around. Come on. He turned my life around. Some of us are still standing in one position. Come on, sit, sit. He turned my life around. Ah, somebody, he has turned my life around. Somebody saw. Hey, he has turned my life around. 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 Jehovah turned your life around. He has turned your life around. Jehovah turned your life around. He has turned your life around. Give the Lord your dancing. Jehovah, 
to acknowledge him. Lift up the hands and begin to give him all the glory. We give you all the glory. this building. in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a few testimonies. Two of our brethren here have testimonies. The first one, we just want to read that, is from Mrs. Awuola Bristol. Are you here? Just wave your hand and shout hallelujah. All right. She's thanking God for faithfulness upon her life. Today, the Lord has added another year to her and her daughter. <laughs> Clap unto the Lord. I appreciate God for his wonderful things. God has made it possible also for her to be here in this first meeting of the year. And we give him all the thanks and praise. We have another testimony from Brother Kingsley S. Ayenite. Kingsley I Hallelujah. He's also thanking God for another year. God has also added another year to him. Wonderful. Praise God. On the 2nd of February was his birthday, and we're giving God all the glory and praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. We have also testimonies from the radio program. This one is from uh, Ekong Awoji. Thanking God for all that God has done for him. This testimony came all the way from Akwaibom. Because of the prayer that were prayed during the radio program, he has now stopped smoking Indian hemp to the glory of God. So God has delivered him from that terrible habit. Somebody shout hallelujah. We thank the Lord for what he's doing. This is another one also from the radio program from um, a lady called Salisu, who said that uh, she stays in Abuja. She is a Muslim, and she tuned in to the radio program. And uh, according to her, the prayer entered her. Well, well. Amen. Amen. All right. And she's really thanking God for delivering her from all the things that God, you know, all the negative things that have been happening in her family. And she, uh, she's thanking God for the good things that God has started doing for her and her family. And even though she's a Muslim, um, she believed in the prayer and that she has surrendered unto the Lord. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. A louder shout of praise this morning. We thank the Lord for these wonderful testimonies. Praise God. Every one of us this year, 2021, will testify unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. We'll take a few announcements. 
We thank the Lord. This is the first meeting for the year. We thank the Lord for what he is doing. If you are clapping, clap very well unto the Lord. Praise God. And as we know, uh, our meetings are twice a month. First Friday and third Friday. Today is the first Friday, the 5th of February. Our next meeting will be on the 19th of February. And we want to encourage everyone to be here, same time, same place. We also want to encourage everyone, because of the COVID-19 protocols, we want to encourage you that when you're coming, please come with your face mask. Um, remember, this program is being aired live, and we want to be seen to be following the COVID-19 protocols. So it's very, very important for every one of us to please know that, and also the President has signed the bill that whenever we are in public places, we are expected to wear our face masks. As you came in, I'm sure you noticed your temperature was taken. You were also asked to sanitize your hands. It is important for us to follow these protocols. So we want to encourage everybody to please do the same. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to also inform us, uh, we, are, we are encouraged to join the midweek prayer and fasting, which holds now every Thursday from 3 p.m. to 4.30. 3 p.m. to 4.30. We want to encourage everyone. The meeting is just once a week now, 3 p.m. to 4.30. We want to encourage you to please follow up. Also in your hand is um, the prayer points, which we want to encourage you to pray at your own convenience at home, and also the various radio programs, um, the five minutes on radio, miracles at midnight, and fresh oil with Pat Piage. It's all there in the bulletin in your hands. And we want to encourage you to fully participate. And also tell a friend, tell a brother, tell a sister about it. So that they can also benefit and be blessed by these programs. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to take our hymn now. We're going to take our hymn now. We want to ask the media to please... Bring up the hymn as we ask all of us to please rise together as we take our congregational hymn. And we ask the choir to please lead us in the Yeah. 
I shall not fall, rest in every moment to the Spirit's call, rest in Him, my Savior, as my hope in all, standing on the promises of God. Praise the Lord. There is something about your positioning that determines, or better still, that will determine your kind of results with God this year. We all need results this year. Hallelujah. By the end of the year, I believe you will have cause to rejoice and celebrate. But I want to say very quickly that there is something about your positioning Say with me, positioning. There is something about your positioning that will determine your kind of result with God this year. If your expectation is from God, then mind your positioning. If your expectation is from man, then you can just do anything. And if your positioning matters to God, it shouldn't be ordinary to you. The Bible tells us of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus sought to see Jesus who he was. But he could not because of the crowd. What did he do? He ran ahead of his crowd. And he located a sycamore tree. And he climbed the sycamore tree. Why? Because Jesus was to pass that way. He located 
the route Jesus was passing and he positioned himself there. And that was why his encounter with God came through. If you want to embrace a supernatural encounter with God this year, mind your positioning. Zacchaeus, the Bible says, was by the wayside, by the highway, begging, and he encountered Jesus. Positioning. Say with me again, positioning. The Bible says that the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. Thank God for the wonderful promises you've received this year. Thank God for the prophetic actions you have done. Thank God for the seeds you have sown this year. Thank God for the fastings and praying in preparation for breakthroughs this year. But I want to tell you this morning that every one of those things notwithstanding, if you are not well positioned, you will miss God. Somebody say again, positioning. If you are not well positioned, you will miss God. For every expectation, for every desire, for every promise, there has to be a common ground for you to meet God. And that common ground is the highway of holiness. Isaiah chapter, 30, chapter, 3, chapter 35 verse 8 says, Concerning every promise, concerning every expectation, and there shall be a highway and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. The Bible says righteousness and peace has kissed, has kissed each other. If you want your expectations this year, to meet with fulfillment, the Bible says, and there shall be a way. There shall be a road. And it shall be called the highway of what? Holiness. Don't let any person deceive you. Position yourself on the highway of holiness. The highway of the upright is to depart from what? Evil. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are it. And let every man named after the name of the Lord depart from what? Iniquity. There are many who seek to balance the awful equation between righteousness and unrighteousness. And they expect it to sum up in the breakthrough. It doesn't work that way. I remember growing up as a little boy. I was eating with my uncle one day and he wanted to pray. And he said, plus God, minus the devil. Praise the Lord. There are many today saying, plus God, plus iniquity. And they want it to come to a breakthrough. Does it work that way? It doesn't. Let him that is named after the name of the Lord depart from what? Locate yourself on the highway of holiness. Samson put his head on the laps of Delilah, a prostitute. Listening to the music of Rock Me Gently, Rock Me Slowly. And he expected to wake up to demonstrate the power of God. But he embraced power failure. Why? The highway of the Lord is to depart from iniquity. Your breakthrough this year. For the supernatural this year. No matter what you have done, locate yourself on the highway of holiness. It shouldn't be a January, February thing. It should be all year round. There are some people, they don't mind January, February. They are holy. They are pious. Somebody anoints them, they get provoked. You say, you are lucky, it's January. I've been fasting. Let me finish fasting. You will see my true color. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, not me. All year round holiness. All year round holiness. If your expectation is from God, if your expectation is from God, there is no two way. Whether ants have been laid on you, even if they even laid legs, no matter who laid ants on you, God is no respecter of persons. 
His standard is the same. Locate yourself on the highway of holiness and you will not miss God this year. God bless you. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. We thank God for speaking to us this morning. And the psalmist says in Psalm 119, verse 128, Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. The word of God we've heard this morning, it is right. It may not suit you, but it's the truth of God's word. Whatever God says in his word, I esteem it. Where I just read, quoted from, is Psalm 119, verse 128. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things. We're talking about highway, telling us this year, position yourself correctly. I esteem it as God's word. And I esteem it higher than any other thing. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And this year, by the grace of God, the Lord will strengthen us to position ourselves correctly, to align ourselves correctly. That the fear and the rage going on in our world this time will not show up in our lives in the name of Jesus. Men's heart failing them because of things happening. Everybody thought COVID would be over by 20, uh, last year, 2020. Here, 2021, they are still saying the COVID is on. The, this second wave is worse. But because I esteem God's word above every other thing, he has said unto me in his word, the arrow that flyeth by day, destruction wasting at noonday, pestilence at night. None of these will come near me. And I believe, and I esteem God's word. I'm positioning myself correctly, and I'm esteeming his word above whatever is around me. Child of God, this year, for you to succeed, for you to break through, we've heard about positioning. I want you to know you will have another spirit. Just like Caleb had another spirit. To say, I know whom I believe. I esteem God's word. I reject coronavirus. It's not my portion. The news, if you follow the news here, we cripple one. Don't touch this, don't do this, don't do that. How many can you do without the help of the Lord? So I know whom I believe. The Lord preserves me. No evil shall come near my dwelling. That should be your confession as you position yourself correctly this year. What is going on making men fear? Your heart will be steadfast. Right where you are, I want to declare the Lord is with me. It will help me position myself correctly. I will maintain holiness. The Holy Spirit will help me all through. Be upstanding now. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. For those following online and those who are here, I want you to know that if you don't have any relationship with Jesus, positioning doesn't even come in, let alone the promises, not let alone esteeming his word. So if you want to have a relationship with Jesus, I want you to please repeat after me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess I'm a sinner. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me by the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Father. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, congratulations. A new dawn has just begun for you. Now you can position yourself correctly and know that God is with you. Hallelujah. Right where you are now, ask the Lord for cleansing in your spirit, in your soul, in your body. Declare, I come into your presence this morning by the blood of Jesus. Declare, I come by the true and the living way. I come by the blood. Lift up your voice. Don't let the devil make you feel you're not qualified to pray. Lion, devil. I come by the blood of Jesus. I'm standing here by the blood. Make that declaration right where you are. Thank Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise. Yes, Father, I come by the blood of Jesus. I come. Oh, lift up your voice and declare, I come by the true and the living way. I come by the blood of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. I come by the blood. Thank you, precious Father. I give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, beginning from this moment, the heavens over this sanctuary, open afresh in the name of Jesus. 
Let there be multiplied angelic activities. Let the fresh you begin to fall in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, take absolute control every second, every minute. Let it be your moment. Let Jesus be glorified. Have your way. Child of God, right to you and stretch your hand towards the altar now. Let the oil flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Receive fresh oil from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let it be to you the anointing you need this morning to pray yourself to victory. Receive fresh oil. Receive fresh fire. Receive fresh oil. Receive fresh fire. Receive fresh oil. Receive fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. If you're bitter against anybody, they hurt you so deeply. At this moment, please let go. Ask the Holy Spirit is right there with you. Ask him to help you forgive. If you don't forgive, you just waste the one hour prayer time. Nothing will happen. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We declare, oh God, revive my life. Revive my prayer altar. Revive my spirit. I need a quickening. Oh God, my Father, revive me afresh. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and declare, oh God, my Father, revive me afresh. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Ask the Lord to revive you. Revive. We need revival. We need revival concerning our prayer life. Study of his word. Walking in his word. Lord, revive me. In the name of Jesus, revive me. Yes, God, revive me afresh. Yes, God, revive me. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Revive me, dear Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God, revive me. Yes, Father. <coughs> revive me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's ask the Lord for fresh infilling. Lord, fill me afresh with your Holy Ghost and fire. Lord, fill me afresh. Open your mouth. Ask the Lord for fresh infilling. Yesterday is gone. Last month is gone. Today is a new day. Lord, fill me with your Holy Ghost and fresh fire, fresh oil, fresh power. Fill me afresh. Fire in my spirit. Fire in my soul. Fire in my body. Child of God, pray. This is prayer center. We came to pray. We came to refill. I need fresh infilling. I need fresh fire. I need fresh oil. I need fresh fire on my prayer altar. I need fresh fire. Lord, fill me with your Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, precious Father. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let your amen come alive. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Don't be afraid, God is right here with you. His presence is already here. The fresh oil is flowing. You lift up your voice and say, Oh God, my Father, give me fire to fight. The year has started. Fire to try again. Fire to dream again. Fire to pursue that contract again. Fire to stretch your faith again. Oh God, my Father, give me fire to fight. Fire in my spirit. Fire to serve again. Enthusiasm to serve. The passion I need. Yes, the zeal. The zest. Yes, my Father. Oh God, my Father, give me fire to fight. I won't give up on my dreams. I won't give up on you. I won't give up on my dreams. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, give me fire to fight. Thank you, precious Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. This year, we will not pray fervent prayer for no faith. No, not this year. This year, if we do the same thing we're doing, we'll get the same result. But if we do it differently, we'll get a different result. This year, the prayer may be brief. We'll pray fervently, but with faith. Fervent prayer, heart prayer, with faith. Not the one after praying for one hour, 15 minutes, you're still looking for who to pray for you, which means you don't even believe what you pray. So if you believe that the Lord has given you fresh fire, fire to fight, you will not declare, I am bold. I am, I am strong. I am the Lord, my God, is with me. Don't let anybody distract you. Some people didn't come to pray. You know you came to pray. Just focus here and follow me as I follow the Holy Spirit. Hold your telephone, your iPad, your handbag. Put it between your leg and concentrate. Nobody's phone should be stolen. Keep your things properly and follow me as I follow the Holy Spirit. Declare, I am bold. I am bold. Even if your mind is telling you, you are you bold, don't listen to the devil. That was last minute, three minutes ago, but now. I am bold. I am, bold. I am, I am strong. The Lord my God is with me. In the name of Jesus, make that declaration. I am bold. 
and I'm strong. I'm strong in my spirit. Hallelujah. I'm strong in my spirit. I'm strong in my soul. I'm strong in my body. The Lord, my God is with me. I am born and I'm strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Christ your Father. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, wonder what in name, it is so. Next prayer point was saying destiny polluting dreams. I'm talking about dreams you wake up, you are, you are discouraged. You don't know what else to do. This dream again. And you say, Pat, you know, my dreams always come true. This one will not come to pass. This negative one will not see daybreak. With faith in your heart, this is not the year you keep looking for who to pray for you. The just shall live by his faith. Habakkuk 2. This year you will live by your own faith. So that's why I said, not just fervent prayer without faith. Fervent prayer with a profession of faith. Hallelujah. You declare now, destiny polluting dreams. Close your eyes, concentrate now. As you're praying, things will begin to happen. Destiny polluting dreams. Destiny, polluting dreams. Hear the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. That dream of pollution, that dream of disgrace, where they injected you, where they force fed you, that dream of affliction. It will come to pass. Command it to scatter. Lift up your voice. Command it to scatter. Let shatter kapala yarosa. Enta kapaya lele puto besa. Lenta la sota. Makompielo. Shenta pala. Thank you. Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise. I thank you. I give you praise. Sponsor the oil. Sponsor the fire. Thank you, Father. Lika prosa tela. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise. Thank you, Father. I command every negative dream, every destiny polluting dream, every destiny demoting dream, I command it to scatter. Now, scatter. Be frustrated. Be all of all by the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Dream where they first fed you. You woke up, you have eaten the dream, and you know you don't need interpreter. You know this is not good. The feeding is not just to kill. Some people, it's not to kill them. It's to quench the fire on their prayer altar. Some is to sow, you know, it's to quench the fire on your prayer altar. Some is to sow strange infirmity into your system. You just become so heavy. You just become so weak. Your faith begins to go down. But I stand here as God's servant, and I declare every negative dream, every destiny polluting dream, Every destiny demoting dream, I stand here because Jesus sent me. I declare it will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every rage that has come up in your life because of these dreams, I command the rage to cease. Let there be peace and calmness over that life because Jesus prayed for him. Let him go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father, for in Jesus' mighty name it is done. Next prayer point was saying, I bind every spirit of slumber by the power in the name of Jesus. This year, no slumbering. Spiritual slumber, no. Slumbering in business, no. Slumbering in career, no. Slumbering in ministry, no. Lift up your voice now with faith in your heart and say, under this open heaven, I open my mouth and I declare, I bind every spirit of slumbering, attacking my marriage, attacking my career, attacking my business. I reject slumber. I reject slow progress. I reject stagnation. Lord, arise and answer for me. Tell the Lord, pray for yourself by the power in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of slumbering. I bind it. I rebuke it. I bind it. I bind the spirit of slumbering. I reject slumbering. I reject snare progress. I reject slow motion. I forbid it. Thank you, precious Father. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Let Shata Kalabura. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Lift up your voice and declare, I bind and I cast out every spirit of Judas around me. Spirit of betrayal. I bind and I cast out every
every spirit of Judas around me. By the power in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree this year, 2021, I bind every spirit of Judas around me. I bind and I cast it out. I bind and I cast out every spirit of Judas in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take a I bind and I cast out every spirit of Judas around me in my career, in the ministry, in my business, in my marriage, in my home, in my family. I bind and I cast out every spirit of Judas. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Any negative confession or evil decree made against me disappear now the other way is any negative confession i have if i had even made by myself this 2021 now wow short sure, things know they work any negative thing i have even said not even the one my other side said the one i've said lord this morning i command it to be wiped away by the blood of jesus let it disappear from my part of destiny this year that's the prayer point any negative confession or evil decree made against me disappear by fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth negative confession negative professions negative word negative decree over my life by men or by myself carelessly any negative confession disappear by fire be wiped away be nullified be raised in the name of Jesus you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise. I command you to disappear now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Amen. We've canceled all the negative confession and decrees. Now we say, I shall not fail. I shall, I part diage. I shall not fail. Failure is not my lot. I wanted to say it and also so, so say it that even in your dream, you will see yourself saying it. So say it even when nobody asks you, you just start saying it. It's just well up. If you're close to me, you always hear me say, I refuse to be poor. I refuse my head to be pressed down. It's so much in me that even in the sleep I say it. So I want you to record this one in your head and say, Pat, I don't really did fail. I just managed to come here because I heard you on radio. I just flowed in. Child of God, that was before you walked in here. This is a center for the anointing of each. And when you come here, you connect yourself to the socket of divine power. In the place of failure, you will have success. Lift up your voice with faith in your heart. I refuse to fail. Failure is not my portion. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, turn it into a machine gun prayer. I part again. I will not fail in my business, in my marriage, in my ministry. I refuse to fail. Failure is not my lot. I refuse to struggle. I reject failure in business. I reject failure in marriage. I reject failure concerning my health. I refuse to fail. Failure is not my Lord. Thank you, Father. I shall not fail. In the name of Jesus, I shall not fail. Thank you, precious Father. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I refuse to fail. I refuse to fail. The Lord is with me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is God. Next prayer point to say, power using the night against me so many things happen at night people who work in the hospital will tell you so many people die at night at midnight so there are powers that use the power of the night to afflict their neighbors to afflict another person was saying powers are using the night against me do not rebuke you fall down and perish lose your hold over my life hallelujah hallelujah repeat after me repeat after me power hallelujah Repeat after me. 
powers using the night against me. The Lord rebuke you. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer now. Powers using the night against my destiny, against my voice. Lose your hold. Power using the night against my anointing. Lose your hold. The Lord rebuke you. Lose your hold in Jesus' name. Lose your hold and the power using the night against me. Lose your power. Lose your power. Lose your power. Powers and afflicting God's people at night. The Lord is against you. Lose your hold over their destiny. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I stand here as God's servant and I declare everyone, that man, that woman, that boy, that girl following online and those who are here, you under the sound of my voice, you're being tortured and tormented at night evil powers, using the powers of the night to afflict you. Jesus paid for her, let her go. Amen. Jesus died for him, let him go. Amen. Right to you, I release fresh oil upon you. Amen. Let it be to you the anointing that liberates. Hallelujah. I heard that one, anointing that liberates. Anointing that liberates. Receive that oil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for this one anointing that liberates. So Holy Spirit, go ahead, sponsor it. Let them be liberated in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, that one is settled. As we begin to round up in this session, we're saying, I will live to fulfill my God-given destiny. Mazi Mali. I won't die another man's death. My life will not be used to elongate another person's own. I will not serve my destiny because of fear. I lift up my voice under this open heaven and I declare, I will live to fulfill my God-given destiny. I, Padiagi, put your own name there. I, Padiagi, under this open heaven, I lift up my voice and I declare, I will live to fulfill my God-given destiny. No stopping me, no slowing me down. In the name of Jesus, I will live to fulfill my my God-given destiny. By the power, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. It is Hallelujah. 
please be seated in God's presence as the usher quickly, ushers quickly collect all the prayer requests. The same envelope you put your prayer request, you put your amen seed there. Yes, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Right where you are, one more time, declare the Lord is with me and I know it. Say it if you really know it. The Lord my God is with me and I know it. <clears throat> Say it one more time like you believe it. Hallelujah. I welcome every one of you one more time in the name of Jesus. Please, if this is your first time of joining us to pray, please be upstanding. Let's welcome you in the name of the Lord. This is your very first time of coming to the prayer center to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Smile at them and wave at them. Don't shake their hands. Just smile and wave at them. Yes, smile, wave at them. Hallelujah. Yes. We welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're glad to have you in our midst. Nobody walks in here by accident. It's a divine orchestration. God knows why he brought you here. And I'm holding on to him that the reason for which he brought you here will be maximally accomplished in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you between the hours of 12 midnight to 3 a.m., just bring that 15 minutes, just 15 minutes within that time bracket to pray. 15 minutes. If you don't know what to pray, there's a bulletin in your hand when you wake up, cover your environment with the blood of Jesus and take two prayer points, just two. I didn't say three. Take two and mark where you stop the next night pray. Child of God, no prayer is wasted. Prayer works wonders. Maybe you don't have any challenge. You just, you're just hungry for God. That's why you came. You like uh, uh, environment of prayer. No problem. Just pray the prayer and store it in the bank. One day, you will have need of the prayer. No prayer is wasted. The angel said to Colinus, that your arms and your prayers have come to the Lord as a memorial. So God remembers, no prayer is wasted. So I encourage you, because you've come here this morning, I'll be releasing that oil the Lord gave to me. It will be to you the anointing that will spark up the fire on your prayer altar. Even if you had fire before, it will explode. So stretch your hand with faith in your heart. Believe in God, give me oil and I will release it. I want you to believe God for something, just one thing. Today is your first time of coming. Stretch your faith and ask God for something. And say, Lord, if you gave her oil, I've come here. I tie it to this. Sponsor the oil in my life. You won't, you won't second pray that prayer. Stretch your hand towards the altar now as I release the oil. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let the oil flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Sponsor the oil. Confirm to them you gave me the oil. Receive fresh oil from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Right where you are, I barricade you with the fire the enemy cannot quench. Any power that wants to attack you because you came out here to pray this morning, I command that power to collide with the rock of ages in the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. As you live here, a new dawn begins for you. The Lord goes ahead of you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated in God's presence. Please be seated. Kindly fill out the forms they gave you so that we can reach out to you. I want to encourage you to make it a date next meeting. Because of the COVID, all the COVID protocol, well, streamlining our meetings now from 9 a.m. to 10.15 we're going to manage the time. 10, 15, this meeting will be done. So those who come late, they will come and partake out of the fresh dew on the altar, but we would have gone. So make it a date. If it's in your mind to be part of this meeting, just be here 10 minutes before eight, before 9, so you can partake in the meeting. But those who come out early, they partake in the corridor prayer. I'll come out, give them different prayer points based on what they want to pray for. They will pray 30 minutes before the time. But the main meeting starts 9 a.m. to 10, 15. That's our new time. Are we good with that? 9 a.m. to 9.15, so that we don't, to 10.15, so we don't keep people uh, together for too long. And then when we come, it's prayer, and we'll focus on the prayer. It's a prayer ministry, it's not a church. And it's not planning to become a church. The Lord said to me, connect my people to me through prayers. So I've stuck to that mandate, and I believe that the Lord will help me to stay to it. Child of God, this is the center for the anointing of ease. With ease, you will break through. With ease, you will break through also. In the name of Jesus. Like I tipped in when I shared just two minutes before I started calling prayer. This year, if you must succeed with your work with God, even in your secular career, if you must succeed, you will need to have a different spirit. Caleb had a different spirit. Everybody was confessing something else. He and Joshua said, we are well able. I declared in one of our prayer points, I said, I am bold. Even when you're not bold, though, your mind is telling you you're not bold. Keep saying it. So grew mightily the word of God, and it prevails. The, 
once you hear prevail, it means there, is a, there was a contest. This year you have to superimpose the word of God over every contrary situation. I heard my pastor say, water and pamoya, they don't miss. But you now say you must miss. You superimpose the word of God over that contrary situation. And what you will have, you will prevail. Because the word of God will always prevail. This year lift up your voice and say, I will not pray faithless prayer. I will pray fervently with faith in my heart. Hallelujah. One more time, I welcome the newcomers. The Lord's strengthening you. I encourage you, 15 minutes to pray. How many of you have been praying midnight prayers? Minimum 15 minutes. Pray adventure, your fire has gone down right to where you are. Receive fresh oil. Amen. Receive supernatural strength. In the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you, 15 minutes. Please, whether you're a working class or you're not a working class, 15 minutes, midnight prayer. It will do you good. So that the pestilence and the arrow flying everywhere will not locate you. It's not a matter of saying, God forbid. You open your mouth and superimpose the word of God. And say, this word of God must grow over this situation and it will prevail. And you will testify in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I have 10 minutes more to call definite prayer points. How many of us have this bulletin? Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. This bulletin. Okay. Look at number four. Yes, I like that spirit. Somebody's already standing up. I've not even told you to stand. Yeah, stand up now. Let's pray. Say, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. Say it again. The Lord is my Say it one more time. The Lord is my Say it again. The Lord is my one to go, number four. Hallelujah. Some people walked in here depressed. Some already disappointed even in this February. We have different things that brought us here. And we have different challenges. But this morning we are declaring, I will bless the Lord at all times. On the mountain, I will bless the Lord. In the valley, I will bless the Lord. When I do so well, I will bless the Lord. When the sales in the shop is booming, I will bless the Lord. When they promote me my place of work, I will bless the Lord. That's what he was saying. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And as long as you are thanking the Lord, thanksgiving is application for more. Once you are full of thanksgiving, you are asking for more. So with understanding now, one, two, we go, number four. Let your voice be louder. refuse to be cast out. I refuse to be offended in God. In the name of Jesus, one more time, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I refuse to be downcast. I refuse to be offended in God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Number 14. One, two, we go. Perish in the I want you to pray that one now with anger in your spirit. Any battle assigned to scatter my future, my children's future, my spouse's future, my career, lion, devil, scatter. I command that battle to perish. In the name of Jesus, perish. By fire, perish. Battles assigned to scatter my future. Perish. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Let Satan tabosha. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Before we pray number 17, I want us to pray number 15. Homes of the wicked elders, powers for my father's house, powers for my mother's house, harassing my peace, harassing my ministry, harassing my destiny. That is that number 15 prayer. One, two, we go now. Homes of the wicked elders, assigned to scatter my staff. Perish in the name of Jesus. Horns of the wicked elders assigned to scatter my star. Perish now. Perish in Jesus' name. I refuse my head to be pressed down. I refuse my head to be pressed down. The Lord is with me. No pressing my head down. No pulling my destiny back. Horns of the wicked elders assigned to press my head down. Lose your power. Scatter. Perish in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Amen. Lift up your voice and say, I refuse my head to be pressed down. Say it like an angry 
every prophet. By the power in the name of Jesus, I part Diage. I refuse my destiny to be pressed out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, that one is done. You will have what you decree. I said you will have what you decree. That is God's word. Hallelujah. Lastly, this morning, we're praying number 17. One, two, we go now. Say it like you believe it now. Yes. The word of God, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I go with a strength today in the name. Say it one more time. Yes, that's your portion. Yes. Yes. That is your portion. That is your portion. Say, I plug my life into the socket of divine power. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine power. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put up that number 17 prayer one more time. Yes. One, two, we go. Power of God. Favor. The joy. And I go in the set. One more time. And the favor of God. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. I go in the set. have what you decreed. You will have what you just decreed. When those things that happen that will make you depressed, when it comes, even if you are crying, tears coming down, make this confession. So grow mightily the word of God to prevail. You are crying, oh, nothing is working, but you are saying, favor of God, the power of God, is my, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And they said that is my portion, and I believe it's my portion. I esteem his precept over every matter. I esteem it higher. Esteem God's word. And this will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are closing the meeting now. But this year, since I understand from scripture that every time you give God praise, he said on that mountain where there is praise and thanksgiving and melody, they will not be small. I will cause them to increase. So before we round up, we will sing. Just one minute, 30 seconds, we'll be giving God thanks, thanking him for every prayer we pray today because it is done. Let me have those prayer requests. Before we do that, stretch your hand towards this direction. I want to pray on the prayer request. Not everlasting prayer, just, few, just one uh, uh, line of prayer and it shall be done. Hallelujah. Stretch your hand. I use this one as point of contact. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your amen come alive. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because you can do what you say you can do. Concerning every prayer request written down here, in line with your will, arise and answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. We promise to testify. Thank you, precious Father. For in Jesus' wonder-working name, it is done. Very quickly, in the next two minutes, two, only two minutes. Yes. Just Somebody call him, Bebu Bedike, Jehovah Nisi, Bebu Bedike. Somebody call him a boob and he Jehovah Nisi, a boob and he Somebody call him a boob and he Jehovah Nisi, a boob and he Somebody call him a boob and he Jehovah Nisi, a boob and he Somebody call him a boob and he catch Roman you see a boob and he catch a set. Come on, Roman, set, set, a boob and he catch 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 a boob Sapphires 
Divine intervention is when you are expecting God to pass from the door and he chooses to come from the roof. That's divine intervention. I claim divine intervention by the power in the blood of Jesus. When do we go now? I claim divine intervention by the power in the... Number two. I claim yes. By the power. Number three. I claim divine intervention by the power. Number four. Divine intervention by the power. Number five. Yes, sir. Number six. I claim divine intervention by the power. Number seven. I claim divine intervention by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Don't rush out from our meeting. Sit down, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus before you go. I said the meeting will close 10 15. This is 10 14. So you have one minute, cover yourself the blood of Jesus. And on this altar, there are multiplied angelic activities here. There is fresh you. You have something bugging you. You can come and kneel down on the altar and pray before you leave. And for the dedication, a few minutes I will come down to dedicate the baby. Just give me a few minutes. I will come down and dedicate the baby. The Lord bless you. And see you third Friday in Jesus' name.